Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. The Titanium Research Project of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research has in recent days reached two milestones. Keith Campbell joins me to tell us more. Keith, welcome to Second Take. Firstly, can you give us an overview of what the Titanium Project is all about? South Africa has the second largest titanium reserves in the world. but. Currently, the vast majority uh, is simply mined and exported in the form of what's called uh, titanium tetrachloride slag. Now, th that is worth about 80 US cents a kilogram. Uh, titanium metal in ingot form is worth about $80 a kilogram. So the aim is to try and get more value out of South Africa's titanium reserves. Now, the, what they're trying to do is turn the titanium into titanium powder, uh, and then this titanium powder can be used as a raw material for um, downstream products. Now, titanium powder is worth a lot more than titanium uh, tetrachloride slag. And there are uh, established methods for producing it. But these methods are expensive and they have to be done uh, using the batch production method. The powder is produced in batches. What the CSIR is trying to do is develop a means that will produce titanium powder much more cheaply and in a continuous process. This will then make titanium much more affordable uh, for industrial users, and thus it should greatly increase the market for titanium. So what is the first milestone that was reached? Well, on uh, the 7th of June, the Minister of Science and Technology, Derek Kanakom, officially opened the CSIR's titanium pilot plant. Now, they have been working on new method, as I say, to produce titanium powder. Uh, they have patented certain technologies for this, but hitherto they did it on the laboratory scale. Now they are scaling it up to a pilot plant uh, to see if it works on the larger scale. Uh, if the pilot plant is a success, the next step would be a semi-commercial plant with a uh, production output of about 500 tons a year of uh, titanium. Uh, the hope is, all being well, that they would be able to start setting up such a, a semi-commercial scale plant in 2017. But the pilot production, the pilot plant is a big step up from laboratory, basically bench testing. So it's a very, very important step uh, in this titanium powder program. The second event was the signing of a memorandum of understanding with Boeing. What is this all about? Well, aerospace companies are very interested in titanium. Titanium is uh, very strong and it's very light. Uh, it is also much more corrosion resistant than, for example, steel. So it's an ideal material for use in aircraft, but it's expensive. And the interest of aerospace companies, of course, is in increasing production of titanium and reducing costs of titanium. In the case of Boeing, their latest uh, airliner, the 787, the Dreamliner, uh, that's famous for uh, being more than 50% manufactured from composites but it's also 15% manufactured from titanium. And there are key uh, parts of any aircraft which cannot be made from composites. So Boeing has a big interest in developing the titanium capability. Um, they're not the only one. Uh, the uh, Memorandum of Understanding was signed on June 11th. Uh, last year uh, at Africa Aerospace and Defense in September, uh, the CSIR also s signed a memorandum of understanding with Airbus uh, on related research. 
the related research being on what's called additive manufacturing. Now, both Airbus and Boeing are interested in, in, in the whole package, and th this is not an area in which we're having competition or rivalry between these two companies. It's a matter of uh, interest uh, and benefit for the entire aerospace industry. So um, the hope is that all these aspects of the project will be successful. Just to quickly uh, go back to additive manufacturing, this is also linked into the titanium project because uh, one of the objectives would be to use titanium products to make components through additive manufacturing, which would involve laying down a layer of uh, titanium powder in the shape required and then using a laser to uh, melt it and form it into uh, solid metal in the required shape and then add another layer of powder and do the same and so you build up the component layer by layer. Uh, the other hope is to use titanium powder in what's called 3D printing, which is this revolutionary new manufacturing technique. Uh, both these uh, uh, approaches promise to massively reduce waste in manufacturing, uh, m massively reduce cost, and revolutionize the entire manufacturing sector worldwide. And South Africa wants to be in on the ground floor. And that's what this titanium uh, project is all about. It's about beneficiation and high technology at the same time. Keith, okay, thank you very much. That is the Second Take Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.